Welcome to our channel, where we talk about the most recent developments and trends in the financial and investment industries. We'll be discussing Tesla's possible stock buyback program in today's video investors and experts have been debating this subject a lot lately. Could Tesla's decision impact the course of the company's finances and performance going forward? Stay put to discover out. A lot of experts and investors are eager to see if the business will implement this plan. But before we continue, don't forget to hit the like button and become a channel subscriber. Since the primary EV stock has been volatile for a while, the company may benefit greatly from a stocker purchase at this moment. The possibility of a Tesla stock buyback program has gained traction among investors in recent months, despite the company's recent announcement of what many perceive to be subpar Q4 results. This is especially because Musk hinted to the plan during Tesla's third quarter earnings call. Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, and other officials were under tremendous pressure from analysts and investors on that earnings call to address the company's price volatility. Musk stated that Tesla may still do a $5, $10 billion repurchase, even if 2023 proves to be a difficult year for the firm. We've debated the buyback idea extensively at the board level, and the board generally agrees that it makes sense to do a buyback, but we want to work through the right process to do the buyback right, Musk stated. The CEO of Tesla, Elon Musk, has stated that a significant buyback is probably in the works, but keep in mind that board permission and review are still awaiting. Over the past few months, a number of Tesla experts have discussed the potential advantages of a stock buyback for the company. Elon Musk has stated that, despite the market's tendency to focus primarily on the short term, it is crucial to consider the long term. Envision a lively marketplace brimming with vendors and purchasers. In this market, a firm is similar to a vendor selling its shares, but occasionally the business might choose to repurchase a portion of its stock, thus acting as a buyer in the market. There may be several advantages to this. For instance, lowering the number of outstanding shares can strengthen the stock price. Both the earnings per share and the value of the remaining shares may rise as a result of a repurchase. This could uplift the confidence of shareholders and increase the stock price. Plus, there's more control. A firm can solidify ownership and effectively reduce the number of shareholders by buying back its shares. As a result, the corporation may have more influence over its future because fewer opinions will be taken into account when formulating strategic plans. The advantages of a buyback are comparable to those of being a shrewd consumer in a crowded market. In addition to optimizing your spending, combining your ownership, maximizing the value of what you're doing, and even lowering your tax burden, it makes sense that so many businesses decide to repurchase their stock. How therefore can we maximize a buyback? A stock buyback's data can be useful for a number of reasons. The first reason that matters to us investors is that you can time the market. Repurchases may be a sign of a company's perception of the state of the market. A corporation may indicate that it believes its stock is cheap and is optimistic in its future prospects by announcing a repurchase. On the other hand, a corporation may be signaling that it thinks the stock is overpriced and that the market is perhaps in a bubble if it stops or scales back buybacks. When Elon began selling his personal Tesla shares in the middle of 2022, the stock of the company plummeted for just this reason. The effect it has on the stock price is the second reason. Repurchases may have a favorable or negative effect on the stock price of the company. A company's stock price may rise if it buys back a sizable portion of its shares, which may lower the number of shares on the market and raise earnings per share. This is a positive development as Tesla's Q4 earnings per share demonstrated strong performance. The maker of electric vehicles reported earnings after the market closed and both earnings and revenue were higher than anticipated. Shares of Tesla increased by 5% when the company said that it may produce 2 million vehicles this year. The Refinitiv reports that adjusted earnings of $1.19 per share on the day of the announcement beat the predicted $1.13 per share in after hours trading. Furthermore, revenue for the Quarter came in at $24.32 billion, as opposed to Refinitiv's projected $24.16 billion. Tesla's revenue was $17.72 billion, up from $1 billion in the same quarter last year. Adjusted earnings per share were $2.52 or $0.85 when accounting for the August 22 stock split. With $467 million in regulatory credits, the company's Q4 automotive revenue of $21.3 billion represented a 33% year-over-year gain. The company's shares fell 6% lower on Monday following the announcement of the quarterly delivery report in just the first week of April 2023. Some investors are concerned that more price reductions would be required to boost sales, which might reduce profitability. Over the weekend, Tesla revealed that out of 440,808 vehicles produced in the first quarter of this year, it delivered a record-breaking 422,875 electric vehicles. Even if deliveries have increased by 4% from the previous quarter, some investors remain uneasy about Tesla's ongoing price reductions in the U.S., China, and Europe. To put it, another way a portion of the U.S. reductions were implemented so that Tesla and its clients may benefit from tax credits made available under the Inflation Reduction Act.
There is, however, a persistent worry that Tesla will have to keep cutting prices if it hopes to draw on customers as more rivals enter the market. Some investors have demanded that Tesla announce a $15 billion stock buyback as a result of their worries. As previously mentioned, billionaire Leo Kogan, who asserts to be Tesla's third largest individual shareholder, tweeted Martin Viecha, senior director of investor relations, uh, suggesting that the company should finance the buyback with free cash flow rather than depleting its $18 billion in cash reserves. In addition, Kogan said that when capital expenditures are taken into account, Tesla's free cash flow, which was $2.2 .2 billion in the first quarter of this year, should increase to $8 billion this year and $17 billion the next year. He thinks Tesla can repurchase its cheap shares in addition to investing in new factories, the Optimus bot, and fully autonomous driving. Investors believe that now is the ideal moment for Tesla to undertake a repurchase due to the company's recent price changes. It is useful to comprehend the timing and effects of a stock buyback on Tesla stock, since it can help investors make decisions about investments and offer insights into the company's financial situation and possible future performance. According to YouTuber Dave Lee, a buyback of Tesla shares is possible because the company could produce 10 million cars a year at an operating profit of $15,000. There's reason to believe that Tesla is now ready to give traditional manufacturers a serious run for their money, as Lee stated in regards to the company's ability to compete with them. Unlike established automakers like General Motors, although Ford Motors, which were forced to close multiple plants as a result of the worldwide semiconductor shortage, Tesla consistently set records for quarterly sales, selling almost twice as many cars as the prior year despite the industry-wide difficulties. Beyond its yearly auto sales figures, Tesla's capacity to obtain essential parts may have greater ramifications, indicating that the company, along with other up-and-coming electric vehicle companies, may represent a more direct and formidable challenge to the hegemony of industry titans like Volkswagen and General Motors. According to Dave Lee, the overall valuation of Tesla would be $5.4 trillion if the firm generates an operating profit of $150 billion annually and receives a 30x multiple from investors. This is in line with the predictions of the majority of industry leaders and regulators. For most investors, buying Tesla stock would be a smart move. The third largest investor in the firm, Leo Kogan, has been pushing for a share buyback for a number of months, and a petition has been launched asking Tesla to return a portion of its shares. With about 5,300 signatures by the end of November, the petition was doing well. It called for a buyback of Tesla by the end of 2022, following the EV company's challenging year brought on by Elon Musk's acquisition of Twitter. One petitioner out of the 5,000 claimed that he was compelled to switch to shorting Tesla stock in order to keep his capital. Before he moves forward once more, he feels that the board should carry out a repurchase or something like. According to Bush analyst Dave Ives, activist investors may put more pressure on Tesla and Elon Musk in. 2023. Tesla's stock price fell by 50% in 2022, despite the company seeing significant growth, which made it a target for activists. For supporters of Tesla who are optimistic about the long-term prospects of this incredible firm, this news is significant. Please remember to subscribe, use the like button, and keep viewing our other content if you like this video. I've made changes for clarity, improved the text flow, and fixed any grammar errors. Tell me if you require any other changes.